Get access to the best deals in the tri-state with WCPO Insider Rewards. Just $12.99 per year unlocks hundreds in savings on exclusive movie screenings, sold-out concerts at Riverbend, and so much more. Visit WCPO.com slash join. It's Friday, and these are your WCPO Not Your Side headlines for today. Tonight, you can help the victims of tornadoes in a big way. Springboro's football team is kicking off a district-wide effort. They're raising money for tornado victims that attend Tronwood Madison Schools near Dayton. The varsity football scrimmage at Watkins Stadium starts tonight at 7. All proceeds from ticket sales will go toward that effort. So a new experience is coming for Metro bus riders. The agency says the buses have Wi-Fi, charging ports, and screens showing security cameras. Metro is also retiring high floor vehicles and sort of replacing them with more accessible models. These buses, along with 27 last year, were purchased using more than $26 million in federal grants. In other news, a Kentucky Fire Department is using new technology to help people with dementia and Alzheimer's. And it looks like a watch, and it works like a low jack system that police use to find a stolen vehicle. The device gives off a constant beep that search teams in Montgomery County east of Lexington can follow. They can be helpful because even if someone is moving slowly, the area to search for them becomes larger every single second they're lost. And those are your WCPO Not On Your Side headlines for today. Have a great day.